So thank you, Eric, for coming to this interview. Um, so I would love to share with uh, all the canal uh, recipes uh, attendees on the one which are currently running, uh, watching the video online to make them better understanding who you are, what is your experience, how you came to the Linux kernel and especially to the network part. So what's your story around that and uh, what makes you today uh, being a contributor of the Linux uh, project? Uh, so I've started to use, in fact, the Linux kernel uh, as, as a typical user when I started to work on it, not to work on it, or to work on uh, with Linux prof professionally. Professional. Okay, sorry. And um, I started to work on NetFilter, the firewall inside Linux. And it was um, really interesting. I started to, I wanted to add my own things on top of it. Um, it made me dig a little bit into it. Um, then I get stuck. <laughs> and I started to work uh, a lot on, uh, on NetFilter during the years 2005, 2006, something like that. Um, then I switched to one software which is called Suricata, which is an intrusion detection system which interacts heavily with uh, the capture or sniffing method in uh, the Linux kernel. So that's why I'm working, that's currently my main subject on, on Linux. So I'm here at Canon Recipes to talk about my work on eBPF on XDP. And um, I lost the truck, I lost the fill. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, so that's, that's why I, I, I come into that. But I, I'm mostly a user, I just have something like 40 patches in the Linux kernel, so it's really small. And um, but I, when I need to dig and when I need to fix things so they work like I want them to work, I can, I can do it. Um, based on your experience, what could be frightening for the users? I mean, maybe some people are watching you today or watching you then your conference, but they might thought, uh, no, I'm not skilled enough to, to come and to help him in what he's doing. So how can you convince them to uh, join your effort to making all this networking part better? Oh, I had an interesting discussion yesterday with one of the people attending to the conference. And uh, I'm, I'm really in line with that. What he said was, um, Use it, find th thing you want to test, test it. If it, if it don't work, fix it. Um, yes, fix it, maybe, maybe look like, oh, I will never be able to do it. But you can ask, people are really friendly. For, for instance, on XDP, they just started something called XDP New Buy, a mailing list dedicated to that. So yeah, they know it will be complicated, but they are, accept all the questions, they answer kindly, and you can even talk with one semi-god of uh, Linux and the answer will be correct. It will uh, not do like Linux, but <laughs> an answer nicely to you. <laughs> and um, what gives you the smile every single morning that you are coming to your job? What is driving your passion to make it better every single day? What is your, your deep interest into the always open source world and what brings you to, to do it every day? I mean, and not just a hobby. Yeah, it's it's about a friendship, uh, friendship too. Because at, after a while, you know people very really well, the one you work with. For instance, in Suricata, it's almost nine years I'm working in the subject on the subject. So I spend a lot of time with the people. So when we work on Suricata, it's just like a kind of family we we exchange with. Even if sometimes we argue on some subject, <laughs> it's publicly available on GitHub. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really that, that is really interesting. And you push things together and sometimes you fight against people that are bigger than you, like competitors, but which, which are not open source. But you manage to get some win, or in some case, some big win. So that's something that is really a challenge and really interesting too. So what you are seeing is, from your understanding, what counts mo the most is first the social part. I mean, having knowledge of people that are on the same topics, meeting them, having you maybe share your beer or whatever. And then from this point, you have a, a kind of community around you and helps you to develop the, the project. I mean, you are, it seems you are considering the social part as important as the technical part, right? Uh, 
Yes, because if you understand the people, it's easy to get your ID pushed to the project. Uh, but because you understand the people, your ID in, cert in a certain way are better for the project too. Because you feel where the project wants to go. Uh, and then you... This, uh, that's, that's why I think this social part is really important because it's getting you close to people, close to the idea of a project, to the aim of a project, and that's really interesting. And, and stimulating because you can make a difference. Just one small thing you, you do develop, and then two years after you see a lot of people, so I'm using this feature, it's really cool. I say, ah, yes. And you already say, yeah, I'm done it. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Eric, for answering this few question. It's a real pleasure to get you as uh, every single year in Canada Recipes. Uh, it's a great, a great gift you are making to us, and uh, maybe to you to uh, the next edition. I yeah, hope sure. so. Thanks a lot for this wonderful conference. People, please come. <laughs> Even if it's full, but <laughs> book, book, book fast. <laughs> Thank you, Eric.